What's up, guys? Uh, I'm just testing out this stream, and I'm kind of bored today, so I'm going to play a little games, waiting for my wife to get ready, so we can go have some, you know, some social time. I wonder if the volume on this, let's see. Match found. I've never streamed any kind of gaming. Right, this is only my second time streaming, so I'm definitely very curious if my computer can handle this. We'll see. You guys can you guys hear me? Let's see. They think I'm an old dog. <laughs> I'll show them just how many tricks I know. If you know, I'm always open to talk about trading. You know, that's what my passion is. So if you guys have questions or just want to talk, you know, just chit chat, talk about trading, how your week's been, any tr struggles you're going through, or anything like that, I'm always happy to talk about that because that is my passion. But my second passion is definitely gaming. I, I like to game too, so. For those who know, I do that. Thank you, Bottom Fishing. Appreciate that, man. Appreciate you being here, too, man. How's your week been? I also bring you over to Oh, you can? Let me know if you hear them coming. I'll smoke. There. Smoke's down. At least three B. They're pushing. it off. They may be rotating. Spike planted. Yep. Yeah, full. One enemy remaining. Last player standing. That's probably my fault. Clutch. Yeah, if you recrived him, you would have gone in probably. Or covered him, because he was zone uh, A. So basically, when it comes. Just work what? on the size and when the time is right instead of anticipating. I've been super right lately on the gappers, that crap. And reclaim lately, but early and stop out. Are you longing bottom fishing? Is that what you're doing? I'm guessing with your name, you're longing, right? If you're longing, <clears throat> there. I don't know. I'm a gap and crapper kind of guy. I like to short 
on those gappers. And I've been struggling a little bit on that. Nice shot. There's two more. B. Smoke's down. Gotcha. Anticipating can be very difficult, man. Cat going <clears throat> Anticipating got me in trouble so many times. Because when I anticipate a move, I typically will take a loss. Typically. And if I don't take a loss, I get stopped out because I'm just not confident. Because Spike it's like planted. I'm anticipating it, so therefore I get stopped out at random areas because I'm nervous because I know I'm not confident. Last player standing. One on um, a cubby. A one. What's up, AGB? AJB, what's up, my man? How you doing? Appreciate you liking this. In, in uh, primarily short bias, but the longs have been working playing both sides. The longs have been working, you know. But I feel like, just for me, I mean, it's very hard to figure out which one's the best long, especially on the crap companies that we trade. I use ABCD. Oh, and Investors Underground has been working. I'm just being early, I agree. Yeah, man. If you anticipate, if you're going to anticipate a move, you need to go, let's say, you know, most of us just have bad um, FOMO, right? So if you're going to anticipate a move then you better size down dramatically. When I interviewed Stan Glusman, he was talking about how if he's gonna tr over trade, cause he does it. Watch out mid, watch out mid. Enemy spotted. If you over trade, let me get this guy real quick. One through six. Or die. So if you're gonna over trade, then basically you need to know that and size down dramatically. And another way he does that is he size down you 10 times You will not much. kill my ally. Whereas, I'm saying that, you know what, instead of doing that, let me lower this down so you guys can probably hear me better. Last player standing. Instead of just doing sizing down, why not um, only whenever you're maybe over trading, why not size down when you're anticipating? And then when you get that confirmation add to confirm, right? There's that idea that some people go about their trading ways. I personally like to get my full size in one or two entries, mostly one is my preferred, but you know, that's just me. In terms of trading for me, soccer, I'm, you know what, man, to be honest, I actually just recorded an episode yesterday. It's been rough. It's been rough. I've had a, I've been just treading water. It's been a rough month, last month for me. And uh, that's unfortunate, but I'm, I'm actually looking forward to the rest of the month. You know, it's a brand new month and today we're off which is good i need this off day and uh so i'm looking forward to this month and seeing where things take me hey flavio yeah man i'm happy to do it brother i am really i, I love doing this i love trading i'm hoping you guys like this kind of content too because i do like gaming too so i'm actually just waiting because we're about to go have like a brunch or something me and my wife spend some time together <clears throat> Yo, spikes on Okay. On face down to shoulder. Watch out, they have ult. 
one enemy remaining. He's cubby. Go ahead, I'm gonna smoke. Go ahead, I got you. Good job. What's up, Arna Arnaldo? Happy fourth, my man. Yeah, AJB, AJB. I think I will recover, man. I feel good. You know, it's like when I first started trading, I definitely didn't feel this way. You know, when I went through months or weeks or days where I just, even a day where I wasn't like a, a positive trade, I used to get so down. I used to just beat myself up and be miserable for weeks <laughs> or for days, weeks. I mean, it's just ridiculous. And right now what I'm good about is even though I'm struggling, I'm just treading water, like up, down, up, down. So on a profitable chart, I'm basically just consolidating after a spike. But consolidation can last a while, right? Just like in a chart, it can last a week, it can last a month. So right now we're lasting a little while. Yeah, all day faders, Eric. I'm working on that, dude. He actually said, I think he said yes. Or there's a couple of people who have the same icon, like a bear. <clears throat> I think all day faders said yes, but... He said yes a long time ago, so I don't know. Don't hold your breath. I'm working on it. It's not easy One to get all these people to, to agree. A. I mean B. Sorry, guys. One left standing. So, the um, I'm working on it, Eric. If you guys can be fair, message him and see if he you know, pushes us to come on, because I'll be great working on that. And... Uh, What's been working well is Lotto plays, taking a position on the POS stock that pumped in the past and is basing, holding for news and pump. Really? So that you just been buying something that's just been holding, like already pumped in the past and now it's just consolidating and then you just hope that there's news or volume coming in? That just sounds like a, for me, it's just, I'm not patient for that. And you know, to each his own, but for me, I just, I just want to be comfortable just sitting in a play for that could be days, weeks. My equity is valuable, I would like to keep that for another day. <clears throat> Looks like A. Is there more A? Okay, <clears throat> one enemy remaining. Nice. Yeah, all day faders would be dope, man. He would be. He's a good guy. I like him a lot. Oh, you have a lot of accounts. See that? That sounds perfect. That's exactly what I mean. Like you gotta. So I have a swing account. My swing account, killing it. Like I'm loving it. Um, it's actually like I get so mad because I'm like, man, why can't I long on my day trading? I don't long on day trades. I I did last. What I think it was last month or two months ago. But I don't long on day trades typically. I'm more like 99% short. But on swing, I'm gonna smoke. Smoke's but on down. swinging, I actually do uh, only long because it's an IRA account. <clears throat> and so basically, since that's all I do, I've been doing really well on my swing account. Just buying basically, like for example, I bought Disney 100, sold it at 118. Did that like two, three times. One enemy remaining. And um. I don't know, like swinging, knock on wood, it seems easy. I mean, it's a lot easier for me because I have patience day trading. I can hold all day, but you know, swinging, I'm just learning to get more patience and it's working out. It could be lucky though, you know, but it's been the whole year. It's been like this. Yeah, soccer, I can. So locates. <clears throat> I actually plan to make a video about this. Um, first off, it sucks. If you're good at longing, I, you know, if I was good at longing, I would never short. I just would never short. It just makes no sense because I, you know, for me, it's not valuable uh, in terms of like you got to pay all these fees all the time. You got to pay to. There's no free sh free shares to borrow most of the time, right? The good trades. And then when there is free shares to borrow, 
Sorry, I gotta pay attention for a second. I'm rotating A. They're closing the door. From tree. Dover has off. Get my monkeys. Smoke's down. Spike planted. Standing. Sorry, my dogs. I think uh, we have our cleaning people here. But to get any question about locates, number one, it's a struggle. Sometimes you gotta debate if you're gonna borrow your shares before the drop, let's say pre market. Most of the time, you're gonna have to borrow your shares pre market, and I don't trade pre market, so that can create FOMO in itself. And locates can range anywhere from 0 0.001 per share to 0.20 per share to a dollar to two dollars per share. That's not as often, it's mostly between, you know, one and six cents per share, I feel like, especially with my broker, I use Cobra. <clears throat> Cobra is actually just partnered with them, by the way, and I love those guys a lot. And you guys know, you know about me, I only use, I'm only gonna tell you guys about people I use, and that's Cobra. If you tell them I sent you, sent them your way, then uh, they'll hook you up with a deal and give you a better discount on uh, entry for your account as well as commissions. But borrows, it's you got to locate early. You got to locate early. If you don't locate early, you're not going to get shares. But just because you locate early doesn't mean you have to pay for them right away. There's times where I locate, and if there's if there's a ton of shares, if there's a ton of shares, I'm not going to borrow. Like if there's a million shares available. I'll wait until it gets closer to the open. And then if the stock still looks like a good short, you? then I'll pay for those shares to borrow and go ahead and trade okay? and be prepared. But the other side of borrowing is you when you do borrow, there's some people may not feel this, but I do. There's times where you borrow and you spend five cents a share, remaining. right? So let's say you borrow a thousand shares. You already spent $50. You may feel obligated to trade. I definitely do sometimes. And 30 seconds left. I'm working through that where I don't trade even though I borrowed shares and it's hard man it's very hard spike planted Arno what type of market cap stocks do you mainly trade to be honest with me I, I trade micro caps so anything really between uh, or really under I, I'll trade 200 million market cap but usually under that is what I'm trading I don't really go over that too much Yeah, Lee, uh, the main thing that I do to keep it down is I only borrow, like I said early when it's close to the open, or if it's a high odd setup. So, it you know, shorting, you got to have a lot more discipline than longing, I think, because there's more fees involved. So if you're trading in and out, in and out, in and out, over and over, you're going to spend a lot of money. And you're going to spend a lot of money on on basically locates, you're gonna spend a lot of money on commissions, because we don't get free trades as a short seller. So it can get expensive really quick. So if you're gonna be short selling and your fees are adding up, it's more than likely because you're over trading. That's the only reason. That's There was one month where it was a struggle for me. I break even, plus or minus, I think I lost like $100 for the month, which sucks. But look back and I had like 100 trades, which is stupid. Like my good months, I have 30 to 50 trades for the month. So it just shows you when you overtrade, it's just not good at so many levels. So many levels. Uh, Eric, it seems like you retracted the Eric message, my man. On the money. Do you hear more over there, Race? I'm going in. Eh? See if you can keep him in there. Are they still there? Open up the sky! And they push back. They might be going B. They were on cat, not in cubby. They're trying to rotate. B. They're trying to rotate. They're on B, they're from spawn. 30 seconds left. Spike planted. Smoke's 
down. One enemy remaining. Weapon here. Hold on, guys. I gotta go check. <laughs> yeah. Put him in here if you want. Sorry guys. Um, I'm probably going to have to head out in a little bit. This As soon as this game's over. So. Which should be. It's first to 13. I have people here cleaning. So um, my dogs are going crazy. Sorry about that. Um, I currently scalp large caps mostly. Shit happened to me on Fran. Page 9 and didn't even use them. Oh my god dude. I know what you're saying on Fran. I actually, um, no, I did use them. I think I, was Fran? One enemy remaining. I can't remember if it was Fran. Flawless. There was a stock just the other day where it was like 20 cents a share. I actually paid that and had a good trade on it. It was yesterday. Last round I think it was Fran. Half. Was Fran uh, uh, yesterday, Eric? Let's see if I can. Yeah, this lot. I currently scalp large cap stocks mostly now and occasionally micro. Really, I you know I don't have luck soccer on uh, shorting or scalping. If you're talking about shorting, I don't know if you're talking about shorting or longing, but just because they they move a lot differently than micros, they're very choppy and the risk levels aren't as like you gotta give it a lot more wiggle room. I think that's personally what I feel like. Oh shit, that's a lot. Of, that's expensive, man. You might want to really look at that. Don't try to pay as much. Oh shit. Fran was yesterday. Yep, that was the one. Damn, you only paid nine cents? Did I pay nine cents? I think I paid... I think I paid 20 cents. What time did you borrow? Boeing? Okay, cool. I gotta sit down for a little bit. Last player standing. Switching sides. All right. All right, let's put this in the bag, guys. I want to hurry up and get out of here and win this game. Yeah, that woman dick sucks, but we all can't get what we want. That's so true. Nine Eastern, which is eight. Really? Who do you use to borrow? Just curious. It was hard to borrow. I usually get them really cheap, so occasionally they're expensive, but I think I pay 20 cents a share. Rain is tagged. Right side, left side, inside, mid. There. Smoke's down. Here. Enemy remaining. Yeah, soccer man. And sometimes I get fallback. And you know, I'm part of some Discord channels that ugh, I never really like. For I never really use them. But recently, before I made that video, I jumped back in that, and it kind of got me jaded. So I'm no longer in those. Like I'm in them. I like those guys, but I'm just not active. I'm not looking at it like I used to, because it it really does affect me.
You too. You too, bottom fishing. Take care, man. Uh, Eric, I was saying, who are you using to borrow spike shares? Spike. I'm curious. What the fuck, Grim? You've got Spike. Need equipment. I have the Spike. <laughs> it's funny, these guys are getting mad because I'm not paying attention. Enemy spotted. You're nothing. Smoke's down. Side clear. Oh, I use Cobra too, man. One enemy what remains. the hell? I guess it was cheaper Flawless. close to the open. That's so weird. Like, have you found that out? Like, sometimes during early, early pre market the price changes and sometimes it goes lower and it's it's frustrating when that happens because i'll end up paying too much and sometimes vice versa you wait too late and it gets more expensive damn that's crazy man Yeah, Arnaldo. It happens, man. When you sell too early, that happens a lot. Especially when you first start. Sticking to your plan is the most important thing. Oh, shit. I need to help things. <laughs> no charges left. Nah, Christian, I don't, man. I actually trade part. I trade from home. Or you could say full time, but it's not. I don't live off of it. I uh, recently found my consistently consistent myself back in November um, and working remote as well my other job while I trade Last and I produce this standing. content in terms of my YouTube channel and just do other things so it's all I'm doing and my whole goal is just pretty much interviewing other traders on my show so that way people can learn from my interviews and then also share my journey along the way so people can learn from my mistakes and what's working for me. I just feel like a lot of people are just posting and saying, hey, if you want to learn how to trade, pay X, Y, Z. It's anyway, I don't know. That's a whole different topic. I cannot. Let's move this chat right here. I tried early, early, but the price just kept increasing. None will come available or I was missing them. <clears throat> the probably push cat. He saw us. Enemy spotted. Thanks, man. I appreciate it, Christian. Really do. Just curious, because I'm gonna be getting off soon. What do you guys think about this this whole thing? You know, like I've never streamed games and then talk about trading, but it's something I thought about. Thought it'd be cool to do. Smoke's down. Last player standing. Thirty seconds left.
Flash SEC, JB. What's up, JB? How you doing, man? Um, I got some kind of like notice about Flash SEC, but no, I haven't tried it. I haven't. Do you watch? I only watch in the mornings, and if I see something, soccer, by the way, I only watch in the mornings, and if I see something that looks like nice, right, and it doesn't set up properly, or it's maybe squeezing, and I don't want to short it. I'll put I'll put a reminder to look at it at the end of the day because sometimes there's a move that I like like shortening the fight the fake high day break at the end of the day especially on a big mover something that's overextended oh my god that's that's ridiculous but yeah so mainly I would say 90% of my plays are in the morning and there's like a very few times I trade in the afternoon very few. Thank you, Arnaldo. I appreciate that. Man. Playstar Citizen? I don't even know what that is, JB. I have no idea what that is. We'll be sticking to that setup only. I don't know. Well, what's up? Well, Christian, I don't have the charts up, so I don't know what you're talking about specifically, there. but cool, man. Eric, what is a hooder? <laughs> I don't even know what that is. Uh, uh, first, oh, it's from the translate. I know, man. Granted, you know, I have some people. Um, anyway, we'll talk about that later. Doing well, my man. Cool, JB. Always good to hear. I don't know what Star Citizen is, but I like first person shooters. Oh wow, Last that guy just wrecked standing. me. Yeah, I agree, Eric. It is, it is frustrating. But um, curious to see, you know, what you guys think about this setup. Like, are y'all are you cool with y'all like this or just curious? Uh, yeah, man. Squeezes have been happening. It's because there's a ton of sh people trading now. All the Robin Hooders. Can I get a heal, please? Thanks, man. I appreciate you guys. I appreciate you guys giving me that feedback. The squeezes have been happening. There's a lot of Robin Hooders, and people are just basically, sh and a lot of short sellers, new short sellers, because they see all these people saying shorting's easy, and it's not easy. Um, and they're always early, and when they're early, we get squeezes, and squeezes are happening more and more, and we're getting some strong squeezes. I mean, you guys, if you've been trading for some time, at least a year, maybe hopefully longer, like three years, four you'll notice that, man, we're having 100% gappers every day when back in the day we used to have, you know, that's, it's the norm now. That wasn't the norm back then. It was not the norm. I'm probably going to... I got spikes. Our carrier is down. One enemy remaining. Wait for me. Just so I can go in. I have to spike. Smoke's down. Let's go, let's go. If you hear him, let me know. I'm playing bomb. She's on, she's on tree. Oh, man, I 
Okay, let me go. Last player standing. Learn about training and watch some gameplay. Do you play other games like CS or WoW? I used to play WoW a long time ago. I was addicted, and if I continued to play that, I would literally have not met anybody, including my wife. So glad I gave that up. Um, Counter Strike. I used to play that a lot when I was a kid, like when I was 13, 14, 15, the first one, <clears throat> but not anymore. Now it just pissed me off. Would you do live trading? Maybe one day or not though. Like I'm at a point in my trading where I can still get influenced by chat. So if I do do that one day, like a live trade, it won't be, it would be completely like ignoring chat and just trading. So I may do that, um, but I won't be talking because I need to be focused. Good thing I respect price action. Lost. Yes, only trading YouTube channel, not selling a course. Only trading YouTube channel, not selling a course. Yeah, for sure, man. Um, good thing I respect price action over the system. You know, Christian, about that, I, I respect the system more <clears throat> because there's been so many times where I get faked out because I think price action is telling me something, and I get out because I'm thinking, oh, this is going to squeeze and then it never hits my risk. So I'd rather get stopped out. Hey man, I appreciate that soccer. Hopefully, you know, I can help you in other ways too, but I really do appreciate that because I think that's probably the most important part of my point of view, the psychology. It's easier to learn to set up, but it's hard to, to stick to that. One enemy remaining. Enemy spotted. Here. Open up the sky. Flawless. Yeah, yeah, good job, guys. I'm delighted. Um, Match yes, point. do that. Christian, what are you talking about? Do what specifically? Solo trader, what's up, man? Flash, SEC, BM, SAG by far. Yeah, solo trader. I saw it, Flash, SEC, and I thought it could be really nice, man. I did see it, but I don't really care about fundamentals anymore because I went through a stage where all I cared like about was technicals. Then I went to fundamentals a little bit, and then I got lost in the fundamentals where it became it created my bias. And when last it creates your bias, standing. it can really mess you up. Great, I'm the last one here. Smoke's down. Smoke's down. Really? Stops are most important. Live train just ignore us. Yeah, Christian, I may be doing that, man. I, I you know, if I'm honest, man, you, you know, well. You guys know me. I like to just tell you like it is. It's hard because it's intimidating. You know, I'm not perfect. I'm not living off my trading, but here's what it is. I think I'm, but I still want to do it because I want to help people because I can learn from my losses, right? I'm on a kind of a losing streak right now. They can learn from that and how I handle it and how I just take my stop and just leave and I'm done. But um, it is hard. It is definitely hard. I'm sure you understand. He's still alive. I hit him a couple of times. Smoke's down. Fire in hole. Your duty is not over. Back where I 
Yeah, I believe technicals is greater than everything. That's just you me. You will not kill my allies. Oh my god, are we not gonna win this game? It's first to thirteen. It's twelve eleven. My team probably pissed because I'm distracted, but hey, man, maybe I can get used to this and people will like it. Hey, thanks, Trader Danger. Appreciate that, man. Left. Kratana's a great guy. He, it's only a good interview because he Last gives great standing. information, really. He's very open. I love that about him. Kratani, right. Sudden death. All right, guys. Let's put this in the bag. What's up? Why are we? Let's go away. I'll stay here just to give it a little distraction. Like, all they're doing uh, is no, 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 bro. This bro, come, come. Here, smokes. That's you right. Smoke. I'm just gonna I'll run smoke. through cap. I'm yeah, gonna yeah, smoke. Um, just tunnel us in. Tunnel us in. Where at? Where y'all trying to go? On yeah. site. Yeah, you're tunneling us into site. What do you mean tunnel? Just make a line, trust me. Oh, a line of smoke line all the way? Alright, cool. Into. Get ready. Just walk over there and I'll press it. Now. Smoke's down. Good shit. Molly. Molly, uh, heaven. I'm gonna stay at CT side. I mean, our side. Hey, you have a good weekend too, man. Yeah, solo trader, 100%. One enemy remaining. Well, guys, this game's about to be over, and I'm about to end the stream. Thank you all for watching. And I appreciate the feedback. I'm gonna try to do this more often. And if you can help me out a lot by sharing this content with others because it can help me grow. And I appreciate that very much, guys. So thanks again for being here and watching me. And I hope you have a wonderful day.